this time on Fishing and Adventure. Target species. We'll have him. Hey team, it's Scott and Mig here from Fishing and Adventure. Now you're about to watch a full episode that was made for TV right here in New Zealand and we're stoked to be able to bring it to you here on YouTube. We've got heaps of content on our channel, side missions, vlogs, how-tos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit it. and join the adventure. Yoo-hoo! With the recent New Zealand winter being as unpredictable as ever, the days available to head out fishing have been few and far between. Fortunately, there's the occasional weather window and a settled five knot forecast was exactly what we needed for our trip to the eastern Coromandel Peninsula. Situated just two hours east of our home base in Hamilton is the coastal town of Whangamata, which has long been a holiday destination for many New Zealand families. Whangamata has a permanent population of around 3,500, but over the Christmas period, this can swell to around 30,000. Launching is fairly straightforward via the local ramp, which is suitable for most trailer boats and launching vehicles. With a mint forecast, we decided to have a crack at some inshore fishing, but we also planned on heading wide in search of some deep water table fish. And so this week's challenge is for us to each land a 2kg trevally and a 10kg wreckfish. The wreckfish can be a bass, hapoku or blue nose. Winter is a fantastic time of the year to target trevally, and there are often good schools of them hanging around the reefs and structure near the coast. Excited to be back up from Whangamatamig? Oh, for sure, mate. It's one of our old haunts. Yeah, it and is. can produce some pretty pretty good fishing. We've had some good days out here over the years, but uh, today, Migsy, you going to get that burly in the water? Yeah, get some burly cranking. Try and get our challenge fish around, hopefully. Maybe a bit of bait. Yeah, that'll be nice. Hey, try and get some liveies if we can, but yeah, get that burly in the water. See if we can't nail one of these uh, good-sized trevally, hopefully. That's the plan. How we're going to target these trevally is burly in the water, obviously. We're going to run a similar rig how we'd, to what we'd run with our, uh, for our snapper. And that's just a bit of a stray line rig, so. But the difference being is we're going to run a lot lighter trace. Trevally don't have sharp, heavy jaws, so you can afford to have lighter gear, and also they're a little bit more wary a lot of the time, so. You know, 30 pound fluorocarbon, that'll be just tied onto a little swivel. Then uh, I'm going to run a little weight like that, because there's a little bit of current. And what else we've got there, Miggy? Yeah, I'll hit you with a little nice little KLT recurve hook. Recurve hook would be quite good, because the Trevally do have really soft little mouths that. Yeah, and that's a very small hook, but yeah. they're strong. So even a big trevally will that'll hold them no problems at all. Just tiddling at it. It's gonna come up tight. What's he up to? Swimming back towards the boat, eh? Yeah. If it's a trevally, it's not the challenge trevally. Yeah. But boy, you know. Well, it's a fish all the same. Fishies, maybe? First fish for the day, Mike. Hey. It's always an exciting time. What have we got? Oh, we've got ourselves a little wee snap. Bugger. Oh well. I'd say we're going to get one or two of those today. Unfortunately, we are. He swallowed! God damn it, little hook. Well, I'll get, we're to get that hook out. I can just see it in there, so we'll get that guy back in the drink. Oh, yeah, he's back. Come on, be a Trevor. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, good fish. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, it's a Trevor too, I think, Niggy. You reckon? Oh, Jesus. How's my ear look? Oh, yeah, he's pulling a bit of string, this guy. This is 100% a trevally. I don't know about 100% because I said that already this morning, but I think this is our trevally. Because I see those head nods or those tail beats. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're, yeah, it's a trevally. Here he goes around and around as they do. Target species. Get him in the net. Yeah, it's not a monster, but it's a happy to see that after uh, persevering and catching small snapper all morning. That's a legal fish. And that is what we're here for. So, yeah, here we go. Target species. Tick. Rocking the old uh, Mrs. Sunglasses because I left mine uh, back in the ute. And like I didn't realise your missus was out in John. Hey? Hey? Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> you know, oh, was it Trevor? Or oh, was it a car wire? I don't know anymore. Trevor, Oh, Trev. Little Trev. No, this is not going to work because there's a little wee tree of his leg, legs, but he's little and his mouth's going to... Soft mouth, Trevor. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. I mean, 
There we go. Just keep that neck ready, mate. Just got a... You got a trevor there too, Mick. I might have a trevor on here as well. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. Right, so, here you go. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, here yeah. we go. All righty. All righty. Oh, a couple of trevs. A couple of Well, that's what we're targeting. Well, they're there. Well, they're not the big ones we're targeting. it will be nice to get some bigger ones, but obviously... We're not going to complain when you pull in the target species. One That's on the right. Sabiki and one on the Straylon rig, both about the same size. Yeah. That's it. Both legal, 25 centimetres for a Trevally. Cheers. Cheers. The dink. Dink. So with only small Trevally and snapper showing up at our first spot, it was on to plan B, which was to head wide in search of our deep water wreckfish. Immediately we had big schools of kohiru around the boat, so we started loading up on prime liveys. There it goes. <laughs> How cool is that? Well, this is what we want, some good size. Man, they're big fish. Best live bait. I think it's a big old kohiru. There he is. Yeah, got him. How's that for a bait? Oh, mate, gorgeous. With the coeys coming in thick and fast, the tanks were looking extremely healthy, and in no time at all, it was wide open throttle on the Honda and out to the deep grounds to try and bowl over our 10 kilo wreck fish. All right, we'll try and suss that wreckfish out now. And we've got a, obviously a very lively livey. And we've got a flapped up, another flapped up coey there. And our groper grabber. Nice big heavy sinker on a breakaway at the bottom. So in case we get snagged, the thin bit of 60 pound, that'll break off if need be. And still leave us with our rig. All righty. Almost ready there, rope. Yeah, but I'll just find a little bit better sign back there and then we'll, uh... Drop them down. And that there's looking not too bad. Doesn't look like a lot, but we're in 300 metres of water, so every little thing you see on there is actually a significant amount of sign. So it's me zoomed in on the bottom there, around that 300. It's important to be able to pick up the bottom, but also be able to see any sort of sign near the bottom targeting these wreckfish, be it blue nose, bass, or harpuka. That's what we're trying for here. So Meg's going to drop those baits down, and uh, all going well. That there is our target species. Yeah, all right, Mickey, drop them down, mate. This is us. To the depths. Nah, Ooh. yeah, that's hard. Oh, that was a bite, Michael. That yeah. was a bite. Oh, come on, Mike. Come Sal. on. Come on, mate. This will be the Ricky. We need to pick off that Ricky. Oh, the prospect drop. No, that's, that's not. That sign we spotted. That's not bad. 30 seconds in. Not, not bad. bad. Good size. Hopefully, it's a good size. <laughs> not bad. Good size. <laughs> well, I'm thinking it's either like a. Little pucker, little blue nose, but then there's the possibility it could be a gemfish too. We got a bit of colour down there. Oh, well, I'm picking. Oh, it looks like a jimmy. Oh. That's all good. Oh, big old jimmy. Big jimmy, yeah, nice jimmy. Oh, they're fantastic eating. Big, nice work. My favourite smoked fish right there, dog. We'll have him. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, he's still got. He's still got oodles of energy, didn't he? Right, we're gonna. Grab his tail so he doesn't kick away. Oh yeah. Right, nice. get him on there. Ooh, ooh. It's not Good a monster, stuff. Jimmy. Just a medium to small size, Jimmy, but nice fish all the same. All right. Beautiful, Jimmy. That'll make for some nice smoked fish a bit later. Stunning. Unfortunately, not one of the challenges, but that's all right. No, it's all good, though. Still not bad to pick up a fish on the first drop of the deep drop. For sure. So once again, straight away into some bites there. See if we can convert this into a Ricky. Here he goes. Boom, boom. I think I've got a Jimmy on. <laughs> Leave it there. Leave it there. Wait for his mate. Oh, here we go. Bang, bang. Is it going to load up? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. You winding in, Mick? Yeah, mate. I might have Start to do the same. Definitely got a fish on. You have, eh? Yeah. Definitely got a fish. Unfortunately, nothing too spectacular in the uh, weight department, which might mean it's relatively spectacular in the eating department, hopefully. What have we got here? Jimmy? Ooh. Healthy Jimmy. Another good one for the table. Well, we haven't truly found the Jimmy spot, but... Oh, he just fell off. Did he? Yeah, he just oh. fell off. He's popping up. Might have to get Uncle Dave to grab him. Oh, we'll just do. Drive around, Dave. Oh, no, I'll get him. There we go. The uh, hand-caught gemfish. And they are a fantastic eating fish, like we say. Don't be fooled by the ugly looks on them. You smoke them up, and it's pretty hard to beat, to be honest with you. They taste amazing. And like you say, not a barracuda, because it doesn't stink, and doesn't have worms in its flesh. 
and it tastes good. So uh, I guess that's a success, although it's not a challenge success, it's a fishing success. So we're going to celebrate it. <laughs> so although we were catching fish on every drop, it was looking like our challenge wreck fish was going to avoid us. The sharks then showed up, which was definitely our cue to move on. OK, so we're back to plan A from our first part of the day. We targeted Trevally in the shallows. Now we're doing the same sort of thing. Oh, by shallows, we're 30 metres and uh, going to run me a small-ish bait. Trevally needs to be of a reasonable size. A good sort of two or three kilo Trevally. Perfect bait for it right there. Single recurve hook there, KLT, little ball sinker. And we're just going to cast these out the back, burling up. Yeah, there was some good sign down there, so... Yeah, it was stacking up good. We'll do this for another couple of hours and see where we go. It's not a bad run, he's just swallowing it now. Here we go, he's got in his gob now, I'm going to go up tight on him. Let's come back this way. Oh, yep, solid. Oh, yeah? Here he goes. Well, I don't think it's your Trevally, Mick. Yeah. So, oh. Oh, it'd be good if it is, it's a biggie. Yeah, it's a good eel. This might be a nice snapper, I think. Just that sort of dead weight in those head nods. Come on, mate. Like a good size snap. But, I mean... Well, we're, not, we're never going to say no to it. Of course you're not going to say no to it. And that's often the, the case, especially with this style of um, fishing. Like, say, with a stray line, you're burling. You're doing the same sort of fishing you'd be doing as if you were targeting snapper. Um, the only thing different is the sort of hook size, tray size to a degree. But then that'll still catch snapper, so... Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, come on, mate. That's fishing, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Especially with that big, blaringly bright <laughs> thing up in the sky over there. <laughs> yeah, we're doing massive. We've, we've been avoiding talking about it all day, but you yeah, can't really avoid it. It's the full it now. moon today. Yeah. It's not ideal when you can fish on the full moon, can, can shut down the bite. He's a bit of a bundle. Oh, brother! A bit of a bundle. It's not a bad size snap, not a bad snap <laughs> For the Trevally spot. First fish for the spot. First, spot. <laughs> First fish for the spot. We'll take him. Hey, yeah, there we go, eh? All right. Nice fish. Bro. All right. Fuck her all wrong with that, There's eh? definitely nothing wrong with that. All right. <laughs> OK, so it's not a Trevally. It's another one of those red Trevors <laughs> that we kept catching earlier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, he's swallowed it down. I think we'll keep him. He'll go nicely with our gem fish, so sweet. Oh, goods. Oh, Mig. Oh, man. Holy heck, it's... Oh, he's all good, eh? It's nothing. Not a monster. Oh, it could be a monster. It's got some good weight there, actually. It's not a Trevally. Oh, she's just a beast. Pulling a little Snap bit. Of the dog. Pulling a Is little bit. Is that pulling bit of string? string? Nah, not like hard. A little oh. bit of string to start with. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That looks like a snapper. A little bit. I'm kind of happy just to take the consequence and, the, and then just have a nice little snapper session. You eh? say that now, mate. Have you seen this consequence? Yeah, yeah come you know on. this consequence. <laughs> come on, mate. Is it a snap? Yeah. It's Your dog, you snap. need a net? Yeah, get the net. I'll just lift it in, bro. It's all good. I think. Lip hooked. I think so. Oh, what's going on with this fucking fish? Is it even... He's still there. Boom. Oh, I might have a barrier, actually. Yeah. I got a barrier, I reckon. That is all good. I'm going to take that as a good bycatch. Oh, well, nice little snapper. Not going to complain. Sweet little night session going on here. So, all right. He's actually in good fighting form, so we'll send him back. Hey, you know what's going on? He's doing beast battle with a beast of some description. Oh, it could be a shark. No, it's fighting no, like a... No, it's fought like it's a snapper. It's fighting like a proper fin fish. Got a feeling mine's not a snapper. Is it a kawaii? Oh, it's Barry. Oh, it is Barry it. after all that. He just decided to fight a bit harder that time. Oh, that there is the... Much like me. <laughs> I'm left with <laughs> that and that. <laughs> oh. I'm just uh, flapping up these coeys. So, often called butterflying. It's just by cutting down each side of the coey and then by pulling out the backbone and all the bones, you just get a nice just... flappy bit of bait, which is gorgeous. I'm gonna rig that up and hiff it out. This is the beast. <laughs> oh, Miggy, come on. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Mean. Oh, come oh, on, be yes. a snapper, not a shark. Open the boat properly, you oh, weirdo. Yeah, well, okay, all right. I was just sitting there nice there. That's a good fish, yes, yes. Oh. oh, no! Shark, we can assume. Maybe. Michael. I just pulled the hook, mate. I know, I can see that. I was hoping that I was coming up without a hook and without a sinker, because that would have meant it would have cut through the chase, trace and it probably would have been a shark. But that the was all like a big snapper. snapper. Yep. And if that was a snapper throwing it out there in excess of probably 15 pounds. So Easy. It's a nice fish. Michael. Oh, well. 
Damn it. All right, so we're in big snapper mode now. And there's a big slab of gemfish. Straight out of the deep water, back towards the coast here, and uh, we'll give that a go, see if they can't pull out our red trevally slash snapper. <laughs> what do you reckon, Mickey? <laughs> That'll be a big trevally if it hits that, mate, I tell you. Yeah. So with every bait getting hit as soon as it got near the bottom, it was now a chance to run some nice big baits and make the most of a hot evening snapper bite. Can you go to the top of you there. Oh, yeah, it's got some weight. Whatever this is. Oh, Scotty. Oh, oh no. What have we got here, Mick? It's going to stay on this time? Or is it going to be a berry? Either Ooh. way, this is the best <laughs> session I think we've ever had. This is awesome because it's, it's quite, there's quite a light combo. I'm loving it. It's only a 10 to 12. Me, no. Yes! <laughs> Sick, bro. <laughs> so mean. This is like a snapper, this one. So this is a sort of 10 kilo mono main line here. And obviously then the 10 to 12 nano matrix with this uh, little Avenger bait feeder, which is a cool combo for this sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, bouge. That's the same oh, as the last one. Nice, mate. <laughs> Not going to complain, are we? One's hooked in the mouth this time. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, not it's bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it's good fishing. <laughs> yeah, bro. This is, a good, this is the best session we've ever had on a full moon, that's for sure. I reckon, yeah, well, the full moon has been made it difficult in the day, and now the night's come on. So, this is good. Awesome. Check out that hookup through his nose. It's like he's been rigged up for as a livey, but uh, it's just how, they, how he managed to get hooked. It's lucky they didn't stay in there or went in there. But, yeah, hard case. Getting there, aren't we? Yeah, I don't want to say we're getting there. It's not kind of the uh, optimum plan, but we, we've obviously decided to switch to catching snaps now and running some big baits, and that's what it's turning out. So, good result. All right, I'm going to let this fella go because he's in good fighting condition. All right, mate, back in the drink. Hopefully, he's what swims away. Right. No problems at all. Oh, yeah, there's a run there. Oh, steaming off. Hit him, Biggie, hit him. Surely. Don't you be a cooter. Recurve hook, so no need for a big strike. And you're on? And I think I'm on. Beast? Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, mate, come on. Keep this one on this time. It's still been a pretty good snapper session. Oh, it's like... been an awesome snapper session yeah. for the Trevally spot. <laughs> <laughs> good old Trevally spot, putting on the snaps. They're all good size at this spot, to be honest. Yeah, they are, actually. It's good. It has been. Quite a surprise. Oh, it's a nice snap. Oh, yes, Michael. Oh, I think we'll get yeah. him in the net, I reckon. He's all good. Oh, Slap him in the old net, mate. <laughs> Still coming in. Yeah, thick and fast, eh? Yeah, they do love a big slab of car wire, those big snappers. Lovely snap. Yeah, it is a lovely snap. Pop him in the bin. We're going to bugger off. Bedtime and then uh, consequence. Consequence. Let's go. <sighs> Band on airplanes. The stinkiest food on the planet, this is. That's why we've got a group of people here behind us to uh, experience what this has to offer. And it doesn't offer anything good. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Okay. Oh! 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 No! This is not a good. No! No, I'm making. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is the smelly. most powerfully smelled, disgusting thing the, I've ever smelled in my entire life. Oh, oh. I'm crying. Bon appetit. Cheers, Mick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so salty. Ah! 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 Ah!